Hi, it's James here from Totally Wild UK, and today we're going to be looking at mushroom spore flowcharts. It sounds a bit weird, but this is the thing that people do when you go out with foragers and they pick up a mushroom and they turn it around in their hands, rip it in half, give it a smell, stuff like that. These are the things that they're doing, whether they're doing it consciously or unconsciously. What we're going to look at is the, the cogs of how they identify, um, and we've called it a mushroom spore flowchart. So in this spore flow chart run through, we're going to take a look at the Miller mushroom and how we would get to identifying that if we were to follow the general cogs that turn when you ID mushrooms. But we've got it all written down um, so we can follow it in here. So we start by looking at the flow chart, the general look of the mushroom. So we start by seeing it has a cap, a stem, and what looks like it could be gills on the underside. We turn the mushroom upside down and we're going to ask the first question. It is, does it have gills or gill-like ridges? So for the Miller we'd see that it's got true gills, so the gills are a bit like um, the edges of paper in a book, not like the folds of a raisin. So we're going to say, uh, no, it doesn't have gill-like ridges. So we're going for gills. And then we need to do a spore print. So next, we'd cut the stem away. We'd put the cap on top of a two pieces of paper, a black piece of paper and a white piece of paper. And we'd leave it for 24 hours, maybe with a cup over it or something to stop the wind from drying it out. And we'd see what colour spores we're left with. And I can tell you, for the miller, we're going to be left with pink spores. Um, so this is telling us to go to page 24. So we're going to jump through to page 24. Cap, stem and gills with a pink spore print. And we always start on the blue question. So first question, mushroom has a vulva and egg-like sac on the stem. So if you look at the very bottom of the stem, something with an egg-like sac will be growing out of a sac at the very bottom of the stem. So for this one, we're going to say no. And the next question is are the gills decurrent? So do the gills run like this picture from the edge of the cap down the stem? And then we're going to say yes, because you'll see on the miller that they do. And the next question is, is the cap whitish? And if we were to pick the mushroom up and give it a really good smell, does it smell like wet flour or milled flour? Um, and for the miller, we answer yes. And we're down here. Clitopolius, the miller. We've got it on page 66. Um, it is edible, but often most people don't eat it because there's a risk of confusing it um, with another mushroom, but it's a fantastic indicator of a porcini mushroom. So when we find the middle, which is a bright white mushroom, easy to see, we venture around, we search around there for porcini mushrooms. We do have a note here, be wary of the fool's funnel, um, which is deadly toxic, and we've also got it on page 168. And a little picture here as well. So we can go into those details to find out the key features. Um, yeah, but I think five or six steps there to get down to the Miller Mushroom 